Hey everyone, it's Diane here from Deco Easy. Jenny and I are super happy that you stopped by our channel to watch. If you want to see our next daily DIY, then keep on watching. Hey everyone, welcome to another DIY. I'm Diane and today I'd like to make a spring Easter DIY with you. Therefore, I took an old flower pot, which is, yeah, actually suitable for Christmas. This one was from Jenny and I, yeah, actually never use it. So first I'm going to clean it with a little bit of water and soap and then I'm going to add some glue. Big Mod Podge here, this stuff is from Action, cost I think about one euro. And a, a brush and I brush all the glue upon the flower pot because I want to paint it and this surface is really smooth. So if I'm directly going to paint it, uh, the paint won't last. Okay, the whole pot is now covered in glue. It is, I think, important that I put all the glue on the pot in the same direction because if I'm going to paint it, you can still see in which direction I put the glue. You can make it dry quicker if you get your blow dryer and gently Put some warm air upon the project. Carefully going to let it down like so. Perfect. Here is the blow dryer and I'm gently blowing the glue dry. Okay, this one here is dry. You can see it became a little bit more matte and uh, yeah, now it's ready to paint. The surface is a little bit more rough now. You still see some white here, but that is completely dry. Some parts of this glue dry uh, up in white, not in transparent, because this was the last part of the glue in the jar. Now I have my blackboard paint from Action 2. I think about everything in here in this DIY comes from Action. Oh, I still forgot that I had to grab myself the flower pot let's move this one over here remove my shirt a little bit like so take the pot and now I can start painting As you can see the flower pot is now completely painted and it is dry so I want to make some sort of well plateau kickstand out of it and therefore I'm going to use these posters here uh, they're made from cork and I believe they were just a few euros at the action uh, I want to use two of them and glue them upon here uh, but from one I hope you can see it properly I want to just leave the outer ring there and the inside part I'm going to cut that away with a knife um, and then I'm going to paint it black. Okay, so one will be around here and on the other one, this one can go away, on the other one I want to measure first how large are these. Well, let's say 18 centimeters um, and I think I want a, an edge of three Oh, 18 and a half so I want to leave a three centimeter edge here and the rest I'm going to cut that way uh, I'm going to make a big ring from the outer circle in Photoshop and also one inside um, which has a three centimeter uh, space between I'm going to de decorate that for the um, 
yeah, just with paper, and I'm going to make a print so I can mock potch it upon it. Um, and uh, the inside part, I don't want to cut away and throw it away, or maybe use it for another DLI. This is the printable that I made. If you are a member uh, of our channel, this one will be available for you. I'm going to cut this one out uh, first the outside and then the inside part. This ring here, I'm going to keep that, so I'm carefully going to cut it up. I might use a knife for that job to make the first incision here um, because I need that later. So this is the outer ring and now I'm carefully going to use my knife to make an incision here. Okay, I am done cutting through the cardboard or the uh, cork actually, but look at the table. So if you're doing this, um, protect your workspace and get your Viking cleaner afterwards. Um, you can see the edges aren't completely sharp, so I'm going along there with my knife, scraping out the excess cork that I don't want to use to make it look you know, a little bit more high-end than leaving it the way as it is now. The inner circle is now smooth as I wanted it to be, we can, but you can see there is still a cork pattern visible. So I'm carefully going to paint that and after that you can see the glue gun is already standing there. I'm quickly going to apply it to the bigger poster there. Okay, everything here is glued together. Now it is time to finish it off with some rope that Jenny and I got from the garden center. Carefully going to put glue here or maybe here, I don't know that yet. Um, I'm going to see what looks nice and then I'm going to apply it here with the glue gun. Gluing is done and I think it looks quite high-end now. Um, what I want to do is take my flower pot and just glue this together. So you have some sort of cake stand which you can use practically everywhere. Oh, I see a lot of spider webs here from this angle. Got to remove them first. Um, but I will check that later because I think there is much more that I don't even see now. Um, and then I can start decorating. And this is the final result. Look how cute it is. You can put it up here. And I put a small bunny 
together with a green egg and the yellow egg on top. Some greenery and some cute yellow flowers, but you can redecorate it, of course, if you want to do it by yourself. And this is the top. You can read all around farm fresh Easter eggs. This is just one printable, but you can make it as colorful or, yeah, modern as you want. But I like this style. So let us know in the comment section what you think of this. So that was it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Jenny, I'm really happy that you stopped by here on our Decor Easy channel. If you want to stay tuned of what we make, then hit the subscribe and also the bell button so you get a notification when we upload something new. Thank you so much for watching and we wish you a nice day. Bye everyone!